Hi, and welcome to my video on how to restore old crittle windows. So yeah, so these panes, as you can see, are frosted glass, or scrotum glass, as we like to call them, uh, which we don't want. We want clear glass, so we're going to take them all out. Also, some of them are cracked. Um, so we're going to take them all out. And so what you need for this is a heat gun, um, 2000 watt heat gun and a chisel. Uh, and I like to wear one of these because you don't know what this paint is. It's nearly 100 years old, so probably lead in them and we're going to heat it up. So it's probably really good to wear one of these. Okay, so I'm going to put my mask on like that. I'm also going to put these goggles on because I don't want anything flying into my face, especially when it's hot. And, uh, So basically you just got to work your way uh, all down the side with that, all the way around, get all the beading off um, and as I showed you as well you can use a hammer at some bits, obviously be careful not, but it doesn't matter if the glass breaks because you're going to take it out anyway. So as you can see we've got rid of all the putty along here now, so the whole window um, frame, the window pane is clear of putty the beading so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna turn the window around and we're gonna knock the pane out of the frame so put my gloves on and then I'm gonna now I keep um, because we're dealing with quite hot this heat gun I've actually got um, a metal sheet because I've got a wooden workbench so I've put a metal sheet between the window and the uh, wooden floor you don't want to have a 2000 watt heat gun pointing at a wooden surface I mean if you have something else to put it on you can put it on outside or whatever and then it's not a problem right so now we turn it around and we need to get these panes out so I'm gonna I mean you can use a, a soft uh, club or um, what's it called mallet or whatever but I'm just using a piece of wood and um, a hammer so I'm just gonna be, uh, and it will break it's still stuck so just try and not going to fall far. The next thing to do is you've got to get rid of the putty inside the frame because the window pane has got putty on both sides. Um, chisel and just same bit of blow dry. Sometimes with this bit of putty here, you can actually get in without the heat gun or use the heat gun so much. Like this bit here came off really easily. And sometimes it's just if you make a little nick, if you break into it, then you can use the chisel, and you don't need to. And it's a bit quicker. Okay, so now we've got 
all the paints out of the glass and all the putty is gone. So the next thing to do now is to do a good inspection around and see where there's any rust. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of rust up here at the top, but then down the side here, for instance, there is no rust. So I'm not gonna put the red oxide, which is this stuff, rust resistant, um, uh, which is really good, but I'm not gonna put it on the stuff that doesn't have it. I'm thinking if they've lasted 80 years with, um, without anything on it, they'll last another 20 at least. Right. Um, I've given the, all of this a good brush first. Oh, there it is. Better paint the camera at the right place. Um, so yeah, so obviously this is gonna get painted over afterwards and it's gonna be hidden. So you'll never actually see what this is. So just put a, a layer on there. So now we've put red oxide on all the bits that needs it, basically where there was any sign of rust. And so you just measure between here and here and, and here and here, obviously, and just make sure that all the panes are the same size and then you order them from a glass or mirror shop. Um, but make sure, because some of these are quite handmade, and have got different sizes. So just make sure, like on the millimeter and make sure there's a little bit of room so that you don't have to like squeeze them in because you don't want anything to crack or anything. So you could have a little bit of room because as you say, there's an overlap, there's a little lip there that it's gonna sit on. So it's a really nice day today, so I thought we'd do it outside. Um, so I've brought the windows out. We've taken all the paints out as we can see and we have the red oxide that we put in has dried. So I just want to give it a final sort of um, touch up, make sure there's no debris or bits left. So give it a good kind of brush everywhere with a steel brush and then maybe with a finer brush at the end just to get all the dust and everything off. But also I'm going to, this is the inside of the window, just scrape off any old paint. Okay, so now you can see um, we've scraped everywhere along here got off as much paint as you can I mean it doesn't have to um, you don't have to get rid of all of it if you get down to old paint and it's really sticking then just leave it because it's like a it's like a primer really right so now we're gonna start beading this out of all the corners because it sticks really hard in there and if it's not out of there the glass won't fit, sit flush and it can bob around and not go into all the putty that you put in on the end. so then you just flip the glass in there and make sure that it touches you can give it a little squeeze along uh, make sure that it's all in take this Right, so now I've done <coughs> three panes. I actually thought I filmed uh, doing this beading here, but apparently the camera wasn't on, so I didn't do that, so I've had to film again. So I put one in here. Now you can see the excess around here. This looks really messy, spill it, spilling onto the pane all the way around. But all that, as long as you, I'll show you when I do that one, as long as you've got a straight line, that can easily be scraped off, like literally just scraping off to that. I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to do this. Line. So now we're going to get rid of all the excess around the beading. Um, so all you need is a scraper. Now I've left this overnight so that it's, uh, 
it's uh, hardened. It's not completely set, but it's set enough to uh, to get rid of this beading. And all you do need is a scraper of some sort. This is quite a big one. It doesn't matter what you have, as long as it's a sharp blade. And then you just go up to the line that you made with the putty knife as you did it. You just have to make sure that that putty knife goes all the way down to the glass. And then you can just chip away at that and peel it off. And all that beading, excess beading, just comes off in one strip. And then when you finish doing all the beadings on the inside of the window, you turn the window over and then we're going to get rid of any of the excess um, putty when we squeeze the paint in from the other side, when it first went in with the beading. There's always a bit of beading that sort of squeezes out here, which you don't want. So you just then take a sharp Stanley knife and you go along. As this beading is quite new and the windows have just been in, I wouldn't don't press too hard because you don't want to squeeze the frame of uh, the window pane out of the frame. But it's just literally making this has dried nicely and then you just pick that off. And here's the finished product. So we've put two layers of paint uh, on both sides of the windows. We've opened all the um, got paint in every crevice, covered every rust, covered everything, and it's actually they've turned out really well. That's one side. And here's the outside of the window. It's definitely a labour of love. It does take a while, and it's um, you've got to have the patience for it. But I think it's a really nice addition to. Uh, to add character to a, an outhouse or a shed or something like that. So yeah, um, have fun with it. So in the age of upcycling and reusing, um, if you are changing up little windows, don't throw them all away. Keep the more manageably sized ones and you can have a fun little project. I'm currently in quarantine for the COVID-19 and this has been a a fun three days of my quarantine period. So just remember to schedule coffee breaks, put on your favorite playlist and just enjoy.